Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another edition of World Baseball Association Playoffs for 2021. We're now going to do uh, game one between New England and Ohio. This is the first playoff game in the Casey Stengel League. And game one will feature two teams who had uh, played really well in the regular season or the right to make the playoffs. For New England, Chris Carpenter will get the call today. He's 14 and 13 this year with a 3.49 ERA. Off the faceoff against Roger Clemens, who went 20 and 10 with a 4.16 ERA. Um, again, Ohio is are the defending champions that are looking to repeat this year, and they're going to start their first game at home at the Great American Ballpark. There's a little bit of rain here so far, but wind is blowing from right to left of 10 miles an hour, so might be a bit of an issue in the outfield and should, for the most part, keep the ball inside the ballpark. So here we go. We start the game right here. And uh, New England was a composite of Maine and New Hampshire and Vermont. Getting an opportunity to make the postseason for the very first time. But they're going to have to contend against Roger Clemens, who simply uh, is a very good pitch. Although, keep in mind this year, he had 238 innings, did give up 262 hits, struck out less than 200 batters in 187. So he's been in a little bit this year, but still have a very solid record given this team's uh, offensive prowess. George Springer, uh, playing in right field today, will be leading off. He had 16 homers, 85 RBIs, and struck it over 200 times, though, and batted 246. The 2 2 pitch by Roger Clemens to George Springer. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on a curve. That's your first out of the inning. Is Red Wolf, 202 hits, 72 RBIs, and bad 307 for the year. The 2 0 pitch to him. It's a brown ball, hard hit by to Larkin. He'll plant and throw to first to get the out. Big play by Barry Larkin as he displays his great range at shortstop. Carlton Fisk, nine home runs, only 62 RBIs, bad 324, but was solid behind the plane, calling games and uh, guiding the defense. A 1 2 pitch. By Roger Clemens. Struck him out with a fastball in the outside corner. A couple of strikeouts and a ground ball and nothing across to the bottom of the first. Beautiful thing about Ohio, uh, and given the fact that they are defending champions, is that this team could flat out hit. There are a lot of guys who can have some really good numbers this year. Gary Maddox is one of them. 212 hits, six homers, 98 RBIs. And bat a 360 for the year, and he's going to be leading off today. The 2 1 pitch by Chris Carpenter. A hard ground ball hit to the right side on a base hit, and Gary Maddox is off leading off with a single. Gary Maddox with some wheels, he can really run. He's not a perennial threat, but he'll take the base if you give it to him. George Sisler with 247 hits, 10 homers, 91 RBIs, and batted 372. Looking to, looking to get on here. There's a line drive base hit the other way to left field. And uh, Sock Alexis picks up the ball, fires at the third, is first and second now. But nobody out in Ed Delahante. But 280 hits, 130 RBIs, and a 421 batting average this year. He was simply, and uh, here's your batting champion. There's a 3-1 pitch, and he walks him. But it was a fastball low, and the bases are loaded with nobody up for Mike Schmidt. Schmidt has been a little bit on a hot streak at 10 the year. He did have 24 homers, 109 RBIs, a 279 batting average. But he's been a little bit on fire here. The 3-1 pitch, and he walks him. Carpenter walks in a run, but a slider away. And they've taken a 1-0 lead. So Ohio... Does a pretty good job of it here. And now again, once again, bases loaded, nobody out. And Barry Larkin, who's usually batting in the leadoff spot, they decided to drop him down to fifth. He's been in the ball very well, too. He has 14 homers and 100 RBIs. But 1 0 to Larkin. There's a high fly ball that is hit down the line. This is playable for Springer. That'll be the second out. This will score in the second run of the ball game for Ohio. They've now taken a 2 0 lead.
And George Sisto will come around and score to make it two to nothing. There's your first outs. Thurman Munson, 18 homers, 92 RPIs, 349. Kind of getting a hit, a hint as to what kind of team this is. This is a ground ball, 6-3, 6-4, 4-3 double play out in the inning. So Parrott to Freeberg, Freeberg to Bissonette in the inning. But they do pick up a couple of runs here. And just like that, they make it two to nothing. So Clemens and I has a couple of runs to work with here after one inning. Bissonette, AJ Pollock, and Louis Chief Soccer Lexus. Bissonette had about a 344 this year with 104 RBIs. It's a 3 0 pitch. Clemens, you know, throw a ball inside for ball four. AJ Pollock, five homers, 66 RBIs, about a 309, and really played well in center field this year. There's a ground ball to short, 6 4, 4 3, tailor made double play. And just like that. Got the fastball in on the hands to induce him to hit a ground ball, and Larkin to Rose. The Sisler. Sock Alexis. No home runs this year, but at 55 over guys, about 307. The 2 2 pitch to him. It's a ground ball down the line, but Sisler will grab it, run over to first to pick up the final out, and they go down after the walk. It is 1 2 3. Bottom of the second now O'Neill, Rose, and Clemens. O'Neill, 20 on homers, 128 RBIs. But a beautiful slider there. To get O'Neill for the out, the one one pitch to Rose. A line shot and a base hit the other way. He's on with a base hit, with one down. And now Clemens' at bat will become productive. Given the fact that he has a chance to move him over with a bunt. The 1 0 pitch. The bunt is down. The pitcher grabs it, throws it to the second baseman who's covering first. One to four, the put out. So the sacrifice is down, and Rose moves down to second. Gary Maddox, base it up the middle uh, to the right side. Here he just pops it up to the second baseman, uh, Freeburg. Not all in the inning. So much better in for Carpenter, but they're still down by two. Parent, Freeburg, and Carpenter up next. Freddie Parent, a short cut, but a very solid season with 244 hits, 65 RBIs, better, 362. A 3 1 pitch here by Roger Clements. And a line shot and a base hit up the middle. A hard fastball that was put on the outer half of the plate, but he just swung it, drilled it where he was pitched, and there was a base hit right there. Bernie Freeberg, the 1 0. He lines it the other way, and a base hit the right field. And on his way to third, his parents, he makes it in time despite the throw by O'Neill. It's not first and third with nobody out. You have the pitcher Carpenter coming up. He might decide to move the run over to second here. He bunts it. Now move the run over to second. There'll be one four on the put out for the first out of the inning. Now you got second and third here with one down. George Springer has not been a little bit on the cool side here. The one two pitch. There's a high fly ball that is in the right center. It'll drop in for a base hit. Springer moving on to second. He's nailed out at second base, but at the meantime, Freeberg and Parent score, and they both cross the plate. This game is tied. So two runs single. To tie the game, I have no idea why Springer decided to go to second. And he does collect the second out of the inning, though, but two runs have come in. Here's ready roll. Red roll, 2-2 two -two pitch. And a drive the other way, and a base hit. Despite the dive by Delahante, he comes up short, and another base hit the other way. Carlton Fisk, a 3-2 pitch. Here rips a drive in the left field. That's going to fall in for a base hit. Red Rolf goes over to third as the hit run was uh, put on. And uh, so far... Uh, Roger Clemens has been hit uh, pretty roughly uh, in the second turn uh, of the bats here. Springer nailed a single. Rolf hit a, 
a base at the other way. Fisk has nailed a base at the other way. Now Pissarin to come up, and he's been a hot streak here. There's a ground ball and a base hit to right field. This and it drives him. Rolf. Fisk runs from first to third. It is now three to two Armada. So Roger Clemens really being hit here. It's been like five hits in a row. The 0 2 pitch to AJ Pollock. And it's and a beautiful curveball. For strike three, but not before New England plates three runs on five hits. Actually, on six hits. George Sisler, Delahante, and Schmidt. The 2 2 pitch to Sisler. A weak pop up to the shortstop. Parent is under it, and he's got it. Just the first out of the inning. Carpenter, first ball hitting here is Delahante. There's a ground ball to third. Rolf picks it up, fires it to the to Bissonette, and there's out number two. And the one thing about Carpenter, he would like to be able to keep the Ohio Reds off the score sheet, especially as his team is given three runs on the top of the third. Mike Schmidt, the 2-2 pitch, walked in a run the last time. This time he throws a slider for strike three. That'll end the inning. So inexplicably, three runs and five hits by New England. It's given them a lead here as we go to the top of the fourth. Sock Alexis, Parent, and Freeburg coming up. Clemens looking to bounce back from a really rough second inning. A 2-1 pitch to Sock Alexis. There's a ground ball to the pitcher. He'll fire at the first, and there's your first out of the inning. The 0-2 pitch to Freddie Parent. And a strike three call on the inside half of the plate, and there's out number two. Freeberg single the last time up to be hit one the other way. He's looking to keep this inning alive. A 2-1 pitch. And a line drive, but right to Barry Larkin. That puts uh, the end to this inning. So New England goes down one, two, three. To, well, and looking to maintain momentum here. So you have Larkin, Munson, and O'Neill coming up for uh, Ohio. Larkin drove in a run, courtesy of a sacrifice fly. The 0 2 pitch by Carpenter. There's a drive to center. It is high. It is deep. It is way back. And it's off the wall. No, he caught the ball. Pollock goes way back, makes a leaping catch, and collects the first out of the inning. I was sure he hit the wall. It was actually his glove. A really nice play by Pollock as he displays uh, solid defensive skills at center field. Up next is Thurman Munson. He's 0 for 1 so far as he induced himself into a 6 4 4 3 double play. The 2 0 pitch by Carpenter is a ground ball. The third, Rolf fires the first, picks up the second out. It's well executed. 0 for 1 is O'Neill so far. Carpenter looking to get out of this inning. The 0 1 pitch lines a single to center for a base hit. And here comes Pete Rose, who singled the other way the last time. The 2-1. There's a ground ball to first. And Bissonette makes a tough play, but makes the proper play and steps on the bag at first in the inning. Despite the hit by O'Neill, nothing across as we move to the top of the fifth. We have Carpenter, we have Springer, and Rolf coming up there. There's Chris Carpenter, a 1-2 pitch here by Clemens. That was a nice slider. Tailing away from the plate for out number one. Springer, a 3 2 pitch. Strike him out with a fork ball. Inside corner. Who's supposed to hit the dirt? Didn't they still caught the corner anyway? Red Wolf is uh, the 1 0 pitch to him. There's a hard ground ball to Rose. He fires at the first and a one, another consecutive 1 2 3 inning. Well, to the bottom of the fifth here, Clemens, Maddox, and Sisler to come up. The one-two pitch, a ground ball to the shortstop parent, fires at the first, and there's the first out of the inning. Gary Maddox, the one-one pitch to him. A high pop-up. 
and Bernie Freeberg is under this, just a little bit outside of the um, infield marker. He hauls it in for the second out. George Sisler, a 2-1 pitch to him. He lines up base into right field, but he keeps the inning going. Which will allow the middle of the order to come up here is Eddie Delahante. He's 0 for 1. What a walk. There's a line play there, a ground ball. Great play at second by Freeberg, ranging to his right. Fires to first and picks up the out. That'll end the inning. So some really good defense here being displayed. As New England still maintains its 3-2 lead. Clemens has thrown 77 pitches through uh, five innings. Looking to make quick work of uh, New England. Carlton Fisk is one for two today. A 1-1 pitch to him. A drive that is in to right center field. O'Neill is under it. Makes the play for the second and of the first out of the inning. Delta Sinet, a single and an RBI. So a walk and a single is driven in a run. First ball hitting. There's a line shot base in the left field. Delahanty picks up the ball. Throws it back into third base and Schmidt to keep the run at second. AJ Pollock has gone over two today. Here's a 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss and strike three for the second out. Sokolex is over two. The 2 1 pitch. A line shot, but right at Schmidt for any inning. And despite the uh, base hit here by Bissonette, nothing across. Schmidt, Larkin, and Munson have come up. Mike Schmidt, the 2 2 pitch. Big fastball, 92 miles an hour, and he got him for the first out. Larkin is 0 for 1 with a sack fly in RBI. The 1 0 pitch. A line shot and a base hit the other way. So a concerted effort by Ohio uh, hitters trying to make contact and hit the ball the other way here. And it's paid off with uh, three or four hits. Thurman Munson, the 1 1 one pitch. A high fly ball. This will be playable by Springer. He camps under it and collects the second out of the inning. Paul O'Neill went for two today. A 3-1 pitch to O'Neill. There's a ground ball and a through to the right, right field for the base hit. Larkin attempts to run to third, and Springer guns him down to third for the final out of the inning. Not a wise running play by Larkin. He thought he could make it. But Springer was able to... Field the ball cleanly to make a nice accurate throw to Red Wolf. Nine to five for the uh, put out for the final out of this inning. As we enter the seventh inning here, New England's still up three to two. So Freddie Parent, Bernie Freeberg, and Chris Carpenter come up. A 1 0 pitch to Parent. Another line shot and a base hit the left field. So Parent has a second hit of the ball game. And this hot hitting continues. Bernie Freeberg at second base. Not going to have to hit. Bunt and he missed it. Looks like one. Another bunt. There'll be one four for the put out. Bernie Freeberg. Sacrifice Pat over the second. Chris Carver coming to hit. Maybe sacrificing the third. A pretty two pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Clemens locked to the eighth strike. There's a second out. The 2-2 two -two by Clemens to Springer. Struck him out on a curveball. Battle in the inning. So a man in score position, well, he's left stranded. So the score makes three to two as we enter the seventh inning stretch. Rose, Clemens, and Maddox. Might be even possible that they might remove Clemens for a pinch hitter here. And so, um, and keep in mind, Chris Carpenter's from 82 pitches through um, through six innings as he enters the seventh. He might be, he's certainly going to pitch in the seventh. He might be available even for the eighth, but gotta find ways to keep his uh, pitch count high. The 1 1 pitch here is a line shot base hit the other way. That was well hit by Rose. And there's his second hand of the ball game. Ron with a leadoff single. So Roger Clemens is removed from the ball game, and in comes Frank Howard. 
Frank Howard, 200 as a pinch hitter, struck him out with a fastball in the outside corner as a first out. So Howard does not get the job done here. In comes Gary Maddox. And Gary Maddox has gone one for three, and they hit a ground ball single the other way and was able to score uh, on a bases load of walk here. Looking to make things happen. There's a nice play by Bissonette. He throws it to second. It will be three six for the put out. So a nice defensive play here to keep um, to uh, get the lead runner out and keep the runner first. So Maddox is a speedster. However, here's Sisler, the three two pitch. There's a high fly ball to center field. Running in is Pollock. He's under it. He'll pick up the out and that'll end the inning. So through seven complete. New England is still up three to two. A new pitcher's coming up for Ohio. Roger McDowell to come in. He went five and two this year out of the bullpen with 46 innings pitched and a 3.13 ERA. So we're going to keep the New England scoreless and hopefully give an opportunity for Ohio to maybe tie the game or even win it. The one two pitch for Ed Rolf. There's a ground ball the first. Sisler will go to run to the back unassisted for the first out of the inning. Up next is Carlton Fisk. And Carlton Fisk today has gone one for three. Looking to get on base or hit the ball hard somewhere for extra bases. A 2 2. A line shot, but right at Rose. As he pulls it in, nicely done by Rose, and collects the second out of the inning. Here's Delphus and Ept, a walk and two singles today. Another ground ball, base hit the right field. So he's on again. So the fourth time he's been on here. And with two down, in comes A.J. Pollock. There's not much success with the bat today. The 0 1 pitch. Here's a drive to center field. It is drilled, but right at Maddox, who collects the final out of the inning. So, on the top of the eighth, no, no runs. One hit, no errors, and one man left on base. Delahante, Schmidt, and Larkin, the heart of the order, come up. Carpenter still 99 pitches through seven innings. It's going to have eight hits, two on runs, two walks, and a struck out four. First ball hitting for, for uh, Delahanti. A ground ball to short, hard hit, but right apparent, throws the first and picks up the out. A well-placed fastball by Chris Carpenter to jam Delahanti to induce him in our ground ball for the out. Mike Schmidt, first ball hitting. Here's a ground ball again to parent. Moves over to his left, plants, fires the first, and again, another 6-3 put out for the second out of the inning. In comes Larkin. He hits the ball for the first time. There's another hard ground ball to Parent. Fires the first, picks up the out. So a nice sinker to end the inning. One, two, three for McDowell. No excuse for Carpenter. And he has pitched really well today. In comes Sokolex, his parent, and Freeburg. Should the occasion call for it, maybe Carpenter will probably be moved for a pinch hitter. Now pitching for Ohio is Raleigh Fingers. Raleigh Fingers had a very difficult year this year. Uh, was really struggling at the start of the season. He did wind up finishing his year at five and eight with a 5.65 ERA, uh, nine blown saves and 51 innings. He had 62 hits. I mean, so he's had a bit of a rough time this year. Let's hope he get himself pulling his game together in the playoffs. He's going to have to contend with Sock Alexis here. The pitch is a drive to center. This was caught by Maddox. That was really well hit, though. Freddie Parent, the 0 1 pitch to him. He drives it, base hit on the right center field. That'll be for extra bases. Parent rounds first, heading for second. And he's in there with a double. A well hit ball there. And a fastball that had a little bit too much on the plate. Bernie Freeberg. 
First ball hitting. A ground ball. Nice play by Schmidt. Holds the runner at second and fires to first for the second out of the inning. Replacing Chris Carpenter is Mo Vaughn. In 117 at bats this year, five homers, 20 RBIs, and a 256 batting average. He is looking to do some serious damage here. First ball hitting here by Mo Vaughn. There's a ground ball to second, thrown by Rose, and now in the inning. So he lunges to his left, somehow makes the play, and fires a seed over to first base and Sisler. You do have the Armada still leading three to two, and in comes their closer, Brian Wilson. Brian Wilson, one of the better relievers, not only in the double, in the Casey Stengel League, but in all baseball, in all w, w, WBA. He went four and three this year in 58 innings, struck out 47 batters and had a 1.86 ERA and had over 40 saves this year. And he's looking to just put uh, this game out of, uh, out of its misery here. So you have Munson, O'Neill, and Rose, and to come up a uh, pinch hitter here for Lolly Fingers. Well, and Scooter Jeanette, who's replaced uh, Barry Larkin. Lolly Fingers not batting fifth in the order. Ryan Wilson to face Thurman Munson, a 2 2 pitch. 39 saves this year. It's a ground ball to short. Once again, Free Parent fires the first. He has made four consecutive uh, plays here, and he has fielded each and every one of those chances exceptionally well. There's the first out. Paul O'Neill, two for three today. The 2-2 two -two pitch. A line drive, base hit the other way. Right, drops right in front of uh, Sock Alexis for a single. There's one out now, and a man of first. Pete Rose a single twice today, looking to keep this inning going. The 2-2 two -two pitch. There's a line shot. There's a base hit the right center field. And O'Neill will run all the way to third. The Springer throws it, but not in time. And he makes it safely. So after picking up the first out, all of a sudden back-to-back -back singles as a result in runners in first and third. Scooter Jeanette making an appearance. The 3-2 pitch. A ground ball. Base hit the right field. Base hit the right field. O'Neill will score. Rose winds up from first to third. This game is tied. And all of a sudden, this game is tied. And Ohio has an opportunity to come up and win the game. So Wilson blows the save. And here comes Gary Maddox, the 1-0. Ground ball. Base hit to center field. This ball game's over. And a ground ball. Base hit up the middle. They pick up two runs. And Ohio wins the game 4-3. to three. And a nice comeback victory here for the defending champions. They win the game four to three. So New England, three runs on 10 hits, no errors. Ohio, four runs, 12 hits, no errors. So this game was played pretty flawlessly. Raleigh Fingers will pick up the win in relief. He's now one and oh. And Brian Wilson, who gets tagged with a blown save, uh, earns the loss. No home runs in this ball game. Uh, the game time was three hours and 14 minutes. And a tough, uh, a tough way to lose for Chris Carpenter as he pitched a really, really solid game here. Brian Wilson just flat out blew the ball game. And it results in a loss. But it's a game that could have been easily been won. But Ohio proven once again that they're the reasons, there's a reason why they're the world champions. They've been through this before. And they prevailed the victory. So the final score for game one, Ohio four, New England three, and I will see you next time for game two of between New England and Ohio.
Have a nice day.